In this video, we are going to build quiz application using ASP.NET MVC. I would like to share with you a simple solution to achieve this application. We are going to do here, first going to create the database, second create MVC application, third configuration entity framework ORM to connect to the database. Before we are going to start, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, let's start. First, we are going to create the database. Open the SQL Server. Right click on new database. That is your QVs DB. Click on OK. Now you can see that, that database has been created. Now first we're going to create the schema. Go to the security, right click on the schema, new schema. But here quiz and uh, schema owner will be the DBO database object. Click on OK. Now first I'm going to create the one table that is a question table. First I'm going to create the category table. So we're going to category ID category name then make this one as a primary key do the properties identity column will be category ID then categories save the data now another table is that question so going to write the question ID and question then category ID make this one on top question then you can add adjective Make this one as a true. Now give the name. Questions. Question ID. Save it. So here it will be add that question. One more thing we can add that one is multiple. It's like a multiple option. Make a bit this one also, but by default, I'm going to make a false. This one, Let's save it now. Another one is that option, option ID, then question ID. options Oops, make this one as a primary key options the schema will be that your queues identity column will be that option ID just save it both is that another call table is that answer so here answer id make a hint then question id and your answer text Make this column as it or this too you can make a primary with this. 
we have to answers the schema will be the queues tp identity column will be the answer id just save it another one is that for who are going to play that one i'm going to do that quiz so that particular user then user id user name and uh, it will be that users use and just save it now next one I'm going to give result of this particular user table so it will be the result id result id yes and then user id and then question id and answer text just save it here it will be the result schemas will be also use and identity column result and save one more for that admin login this simple i'm going to create that admin id and uh, username And simple user password yeah I'm going to write like admin use anity column will be the admin ID. here going to add some dummy data for admin That uh, username is techtuition at gmail.com and password is 123456. The default and default one more things I'm going to add that for categories. Open this one, I think schema I didn't add it. Scan the schema that is a user schema. And add some dummy data just refresh one time let's see it's a now going to add math and question science add some dummy data this one is that admin here it's a user id password so admin can log in and add some question and answer that option with the result Second one is that it's a category. It will first uh, need they need to select that one if they are going to give the quiz with that math or science, or you can add multiple. That one is that question table. Here we it, question will come with that category ID and that uh, option. You can see that here this one is the option. So option is that uh, your question ID with that option name. And the answer of that particular question and option will be here. Here it will be that question ID and answer text. Okay. Now data has been created. Now open the Visual Studio. Create a new project. Yeah, 
sp.net mvc application we have a now click on ok select anti mvc and click on ok now project has been created Okay. First of all, right click and add one controller that will be the your home controller. Okay, and before that, I am going to add that entity framework new item. Your data, your data entity model. Here, it will be the use DB. Click on add. Then click on next. Then new connection. That server name, SQL Server, user and password. And select the database. That is your use DB. Click on OK. Yes. Okay, next next select the table and click on finish now here you can see that it's coming that question because of that we have mentioned that question the table name and this one is matching so that entity framework that dot net is changed to that question one so I'm going to change this name so open this one, this one should be question name. Just save it and reload again. Update. Yes. Oh, again this question one is, first delete this one. Then update. Click on finish. You can see that question ID category ID question name is multiple is active. That is all. Now add that one view that is simple index and view. Click on add. 